Hey everybody, it's me, and today I'm going to show you how to increase user stats, whether it be points or an in-app currency or whatever it happens to be, based on user interaction within the app. For example, right now I have my item store app open, and you see that I have a challenges tab where each challenge is worth a certain amount of points. I've set that up in my sheet here with just a title and the value. And when users go to complete a challenge, they'll see how many points that it's worth. They can complete the challenge. So eventually I'll have 540 experience points once this post has been approved. You see right now it's awaiting approval. Luckily I'm an admin in the app. So I'll just go to the admin section. I see that I have it's waiting for me and I'll approve the submission. Okay, so when I go back, I now have 540 experience points. So let me explain the magic on how this happens. First, you'll need two sheets. You need your challenges app, and then you also need your challenges log sheet, where every time a user submits their entry for completing the challenge, it's going to log their email address, it's going to log um, the points that the challenge was worth, and it'll also log all of the other information like evidence of learning, reflection, and so forth that then you could use to approve. Then in my Glide app in the data table, so you see that I have the experience points here. And then I also have some if thens. So if it's been approved, it's going to do something, right? So if it's been approved, it's going to show me the email address. So that way I have a list of those who, whom I've approved. Now, in my app, I'm calculating lots of different things. I'm calculating experience points, I'm calculating their rank points, I'm calculating their in-app currency, and so forth. So I actually have a sheet per item that I'm calculating. For my experience points, I have a sheet here called Player XP, where it's acting sort of like a calculator or a grade book, let's say, of all of the times players have earned XP in various ways in my app, and it's gonna calculate them all together and provide a sum for me that I'm then going to display on the player profile page. To show you how I've done that, first what I do in my player experience sheet is I have one row per user, and I just bring them in using a unique formula into the sheet from the user's profile tab. From there, I create a template that will link the user to the challenge. Now, in order to build the relation between this experience points sheet and the challenges sheet, I had to create a template that I'm gonna to use to reference. So I created a template column and I just linked the email address and the letters XP. XP is completely arbitrary. I picked it because it has to do with earning XP for part of challenges. And so the end result is an email address and then the letters XP. Back in my challenge log, I create a similar template called XP template, where again, you see that it contains the email address and the letters XP. And this gets generated automatically like an array formula every time a user submits a new log. It's going to concatenate the email address of the form submission along with the letters XP. And so then back in my player XP, I have a relation that I use called challenge relation, where I'm doing a multiple lookup of the award template, which is the email address dash XP and the daily challenge log email address dash XP. And that's going to provide me with every time a user has submitted the, um, the, the challenge. Now I'm specifically pointing at the approved value here because it's possible that users will submit a challenge, but I don't want them to give them points right away. I want to approve it first. So I have an if then um, column in my daily challenges sheet that's checking that whether or not I approve the box or not. And when it does, then it applies the template and thus then applies this relation. So after I have that multiple relation, then I do a simple roll up where it's calculating the sum of the experience points. And that's this value here. It's calculating a sum of the experience points per user as part of that relation. So every time that I submit a challenge, it's going to put in Robert Petito dash, then nothing. Once I approve it, it'll be Robert Petito dash XP. And I might have four or five of those once I've been approved for those four or five challenges. And then it's going to sum up the XP value for those four or five challenges and output that value here. So here's that 115. 
Okay, and then what I do is in this sheet, I have like a total calculator, right? This total column here where it's basically summing up all of the various ways that players can earn XP in the app. And it spits out this, um, this, this value here. Now, this value is actually being calculated in the Google Sheet. And then I'm totaling this along with the challenges to present with this final total calculation here of 540, as you saw earlier in this video. And then in my player profile sheet, um, all I do is I do a relation between the email address of the user profile and this XP sheet to grab this value as a lookup and then so I can display it throughout the app. Just so you see what that looks like, I'm gonna go here to my player inventory sheet and you'll see that I have a relation somewhere in here called uh, probably relation to XP, it's probably earlier. Here's XP template, that's not it. Oh my goodness, I have lots of things. Current XP, is this it? Yeah, that's it, okay. So this relation, which I called new column, <laughs> which is why I couldn't find it, uh, is the relationship to the XP, and then I have my lookup here, which is pulling the 540. And this, since this is in my player profile sheet, now I can do things with this value. Um, I can add it to templates, oops. Right, I can add it to templates and include it in various ways throughout the app. All right, so my leaderboard and so forth. All right, so hopefully this video has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.